Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. 115 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So they ask you to determine the conditional variance of y given x is equal to x. So that means we first need to find out what the probability function of y given x is equal to a little x, right? So we know this to be the probability, the joint distribution divided by the probability of the marginal distribution of x. And let's just, I'm going to draw this graph out real quick. y is bounded by x and x plus 1. So this is x and this is x plus 1 is equal to y. And it's going from 0 to 1. So like, let's say like that's the 1. Beautiful. And then we know f of x, y, that's just given here, just 2x. So now we just have to figure out what the f of x is. We know f of x by definition is the negative infinity, the infinity of f of x, y, of d, integrating in respect to dy. So what is the lower limit of dy? Okay, when you integrate in respect to y, you're going this way, like vertically. So then the lower limit's going to be whatever y is going to be, or whatever x is going to be, right? Okay, and the upper limit is just going to be x plus 1. And f of xy we know is 2x dy. So then this is equal to 2xy integrating from x plus 1 to x. So then this is equal to 2x x plus 1 minus x. So the x is actually cancel out, so you're left with just 2x. So then this is equal to 2x, which is equal to 1. All right, so and then we are, we need to find the variance. So we, we know a variance formula, any variance formula, if it's y given x is equal to x, we know this is equal to the second moment of y squared given x is equal to x minus the expectation of y given x is equal to x squared. So let's start off with the expectation of y given x is equal to x. We know about that by definition. It's just going from negative infinity to infinity of y times f of y given x dy. So if we're in respect, integrating respect to dy, the range is still the same as our marginal distribution here. So its lower limb is going to be x, x plus 1. Conditional probability here is just 1. So then we're just integrating y dy which is equal to y squared, 1 half, integrating from x to x plus 1. Then this is equal to 1 half. When I factor this out, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x squared. The lower limit's x squared. Okay, so then x squared actually just cancels out, and you're left with x plus 1 half. All right, moving on, we need to find just that second moment here y squared given x is equal to x. Again, by definition, that's going from negative infinity to infinity of y times y squared times f of y given x dy. So then this is equal to y cubed, one third, integrating from x to x plus one, because the range is still the same for y. And then so then when I plug in the upper limit here, this is actually x squared plus 2x plus 1 times, right, There's it's to the cubed, times x plus 1. I don't have my cube memorized. I'm not that cool, you know. I, I try to be cool, but I'm not that cool. All right, so then that's all I have. <laughs> that's all I could get. I have to actually physically multiply out this thing out. So that's going to be x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus x cubed. <laughs> x cubes actually cancel out so you get left with one third putting in the x's together you get right here 3x cubes 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 yeah that's it okay okay so that's and then putting it back in our variance formula the second moment here is going to be equal to x squared plus x plus one third minus the second the first moment here which is x plus one half squared. So multiplying that sucker out, you get x plus x plus one third minus x squared plus 
one half plus one half x plus one half x is just x plus one fourth. All right, then you can distribute the negative signs so and x is x squared. X squared actually cancel out, and it becomes this. Becomes and this becomes x minus x, which is a 0, plus 0. One, and you're left with 1 third minus 1 fourth, which is equal to 1 twelfth, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!